Hello everyone. Back when I was younger, I attempted to knit with videotape, so I'm going to insert a picture of that now. Pretty cool, right? However, the making of the knitted piece of uh, videotape wasn't as cool as the final product because it was super crinkly and it made this annoying noise when I was working with it. However, we're going to try to visit that again. We're going to try crocheting this time and we're also going to use cassette tape because I think a lot of the crinkliness came from the thing being a, the, like the videotape being about an inch thick. And if we have it only like a couple millimeters thick, it shouldn't be that bad. So I've already taken it apart. Ooh. And we're going to get started. So there's actually like a bunch of like clear leading up to it. I'm going to cut that off because I just want to work with like the typical stuff. Boom. And like always, we're going to do when we do crochet, we're going to do the three stitches, the single crochet, the half double crochet, and the double crochet. I think I'm going to start with six stitches or six foundation chains. Oh, it's really curling on me. Like, I don't know if you can see, like, if I hold it up, how it kind of looks like an old-fashioned telephone wire. Because it's in a circle, you know, and then it's coming out of the circle, so it can't help itself. I lost track of how many stitches I got. One, two, three, four... Five, six. Anyway, we're keeping this nice and loose so I can see what I'm doing. All right. Got that. We're doing the second chain from there. Boom. It's still noisier than I want it to be. Where's that last stitch, right? One, two, three, four. It should be here. Where I think I found it. Okay. Anyway, that's our row of single crochet there. So now we're going to chain two for the half double crochet. This was another one of those cases where I got this from a children's book. Actually the same children's book where I got the idea from knitting with wire. I actually saved a lot of video cassettes over the years. Well, not video cassettes. Well, 
It may have started off with video cassettes, but then like, I mean cassette tapes just to like work with it, but then I never actually did anything with it because I was worried about the sound. And also because I'm a very distracted person. All right, let me try to lift this up so I can show you how tangled this has gotten. <laughs> if this was like knitting, I would have done the twirly top thing by now where I just would have held it up and let it unwind by itself like that. There you go, you can kind of see it. Then when it starts turning the other way, that's why I know it's time to stop. Uh, doing that with a crochet hook was a bit nerve wracking because if this came undone, it would have been harder to find the stitches. Anyway, I do that with my knitting a lot. And it releases the tension of the yarn <laughs> because uh, if you knit with yarn with a lot of tension in it, uh, it doesn't necessarily go, like it's not as soft as you would like it to be, you know? Wait, there's three. I hope that's three. I'll find out. Now time for the double crochet. There you go. That's the half double crochet. So like single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet on top. Doesn't look that bad. I mean, it, look, it has a certain coolness to it. It's just that unless I was listening to music or something like that, that distracted from the crinkly noise, the crinkly noise would drive me out of my mind. <laughs> the, I don't know what I'm going to do with this though. I don't know what I'm going to do with any of it. Although, look how much of it is left. Like they really packed the uh, cassette tape in there. So I would have a lot to work with before I ever ran out. It is pretty cool. Anyway, that was today's entertainment. Have a nice day.